What's up guys, it's me Lego Paradise here and today I'm going to show you how to build a working Lego combination safe. This can be set to 16 different colour combinations. At the moment it's set to green and blue and that means this safe will stay locked until we enter the exact right combination of colours. And this is actually really accurate. So for example if we enter green and red we got one of the colours right but the other one is wrong, so the lock stays in place. But as soon as we enter the correct counterclockwise green and then clockwise blue, the safe unlocks and allows us to open it up and gain access to all of the valuables inside, which include expensive necklaces, diamonds, and even gold bars. And if we temporarily remove the roof, you can see there's even more storage space on top of the safe. At the moment there's some stacks of money over on that top shelf and we also get a better look at some of the other treasures inside. And it's really easy to close it back up so just swing the door shut, turn the combination to reset it and safely lock your Lego valuables away. And to get a better look at the actual mechanism I've built this transparent safe so you can see at the top there is the lock which moves around and it's currently locked so that hits the latch in front of it and stops the door from opening and the way we can open it up is by turning the dial on the front and that in turn rotates the two cams inside and when you get the right combination the cams align perfectly to let the lock fall down underneath the latch and that in turn unlocks the door to the safe so it's actually a really realistic mechanism and from here you can fill it with all kinds of minifigure scale valuables and treasures. There's plenty of space for all sorts of things including stacks of gold bullion, crystals and diamonds as well as a nice and secure storage for all of your Lego money. And you really can just keep on going until the entire safe is full up because even with this complex mechanism inside there's still plenty of space for storage. And let's take a look at that from the other side. From here you can get a better view of how the two cams interact, which are actually on two different axles. And basically when you rotate the first one, that spins around once until it starts rotating the second cam at the back of the combination lock. And I'm really impressed with this design. It's all made entirely out of Lego pieces. And I believe this is even the smallest possible design for a working combination lock that can be made out of Lego bricks. And that results in a really smooth and compact mechanism that's perfect for your minifigure scale banks, shops, houses, and mansions. So let's take a look at what you're gonna need to build it. Here are all the pieces you'll need to build your working Lego combination safe. And I'll leave a link in the description to where you can find some of the rarer pieces which I've used, such as these silver parts, which are actually part of a multi-pack of parts. So just check the description for a link to where you can find them in case you don't already have them. So once you've got all your pieces, we can start by building the door and this will use a one x three and a two x one, as well as a one x one plate stacked on top of each other. Then a one x one plate with a clip on the end on this side, a regular one x one plate in the middle and a one by one brick with the studs on the two sides, just sticking out at the end there, just like this. And on top of that, you can place one of these one by one round tiles with the little bar attachment, and a small ice skate piece, and angle that like this, that will be the pointer where the colors and the combination will be lined up with. Then attach a one by two Technic hole brick, over there, a 1x2 plate on top of that, along with a second 1x1 plate with the clip, and a regular 1x1 plate just next to that piece. And on the other side, clip a 1x1 Technic hole brick. Then secure all of that in place with a 1x3 plate and a 1x3 tile. So a nice smooth one to smooth everything off. 
And you can also attach a 1x1 Technic pin with the stud attachment on end. So that should look just like that. And place a 1x3 bar all the way through the middle of that. So it's roughly sticking out just about this much on the other side. And from here, this is where we can actually attach the handle because this will make up the axle that you'll turn as the handle rotates. So attach the 1x1 brick with the hole in the middle. And I'm using this cool printed round tile. Again, I'll leave a link to where I've got that in the description. And you can just basically clip the tile over there. Make sure the pointer is aligned. And that way you'll be able to choose your color combination. Then over on the other side, you can take one of these round 2x2 two two tiles with the hole in the middle and flip that over on its side and make sure that is aligned with this 2x2 two two tile over there. There you go, that's looking quite nice. And from here, we can take one of these pieces, these interesting silver parts, and clip that on the other side. And that will act as the first half of the combination lock mechanism. So that's nice and neat, and that should spin around nice and smoothly. And finally, for this part, let's just finish that off with a 1x4 tile over on here, and a 1x4 gold bar, if you're going for this same dark green and gold design that I've chosen for my safe, just like that. Then to create the little lock mechanism, this will use this silver piece, which is again very specialized, but is necessary to create such a small mechanism. A 1x1 one one round tile over on the top, and then a Technic pin with a stud with a hole on it all the way through there. And this can slide almost all the way to the end, just leave a fraction of a gap that's very important for the spacing, just like that. And this whole safe lock can be clipped into that Technic brick. So clip that through there. That's looking pretty good like that. And you'll see, like you saw at the start, that will move the lock up and down. And that acts as the first half of the combination. So now we're done with the door, let's build the rest of the safe. We'll build this up in layers. So first of all, I'm using a nice smooth 4x4 plate with the tiles and the plate on the other side, and then I clip a 2x3 plate over like that, with a 1x1 underneath, and a 1x1 plate with the clip attachment over on end, just like that. Then a 2x2 corner plate over on this side, and a 1x2 plate over on the top of here, and we can start adding some of these panel pieces, which are also very important for the spacing. You'll need those so that the combination lock has plenty of room to spin around. So one just goes on there, and that one by one panel, the corner style, goes on here. Again, very important for the overall function of this design. Then a one by four brick over at the back, to secure all of that in place. And we can place this down for now, while we attach a one by two plate onto this 1x4 brick, that can be clipped over the top there, and take another 1x2 panel over on this side, with a 1x2 brick next to that, and then we can finish off this bit with some light grey 1x2 panels. So one of them can go here, the corner panel piece, and the 1x1 corner can go on the other side, that will help form a nice little shelf when combined with this Technic brick in the same colour. So you see, that way you have a roughly 2x3 space and some studs to clip something on there, like some money for example. And then you can also fill in the corner with a regular 1x1 brick. Now's a good time to finish up the second half of the combination lock, which uses this Technic pin and the second 2x2 two two round tile, and also the second one of these corner pieces in silver. 
and that can just be clipped right in the middle of that 1x2 Technic brick. And that way, when the door is closed up, both halves of this mechanism combine together to form one complete combination lock. And let's finish off this side with a 1x2 panel, with a 1x1 with the clip underneath that, and a 1x2 plate on the other side. And that can also be completed with a 1x1 brick, like this, and we'll place this down for the time being, because next we'll build up the next layer of the safe, so we'll use two 1x4 plates, along with two 1x3s, to secure the top half in place, and this will act as a nice frame to build the roof of the safe, so I'm going for a nice and simple studded look for here, so that will use a 2x4 plate like this, and then two more 2x4s over on the top to create the studded roof effect with a 1x4 over on the other side. But of course, this bit is just cosmetic, so you can customize that however you want. Although, either way you do it, you will need a 1x1 plate that will actually attach underneath of the 2x4 panels. So that way, that will act as the latch which this little door lock piece will hit as you saw in the demonstration at the start. So you'll see that will just hit that once the safe is locked in place. So now it's time to attach all of this stuff together. So let's do this one step at a time. First of all is the door. So that clips on like this, all the way down to the bottom, as far as that goes. And then with this little piece, the reason we built this separately is so this can actually be attached upside down. So you see it's got that little panel, and that's because the stud in this 1x1 brick will actually clip inside of there. And that will keep it nice and aligned. So there you go, you can see it's aligned, and just push that back to secure everything in place. And that way that won't move about when you move the door. So that's quite a neat little solution, and allows you to use some rare colours, such as dark green for your safe. And then the roof simply clips over on the top, just like that. Although, of course, you can always remove the roof if you want to add some things in the top shelf, such as some money, because there's a little bit of extra storage space, so might as well use it. And then, as you saw at the start, you can get an idea of how this locking mechanism actually works, and the way you can set your combination is by actually removing this 2x2 tile, and just flipping it around by 90 degrees in each turn. So for example, say you have it set to green and blue, all you'd need to do to reset it is to flip it around just by 90 degrees, and that will in turn set it to red and green, or purple and red, or vice versa. You can even do it the other way around, so it doesn't have to be in one direction. You can vary up your combination and have it go counterclockwise to clockwise, and basically all the different combinations that you want, up to a total of 16 unique sets of colours. So I hope you enjoyed building your working LEGO combination safe, and if you did, then give this video a like, let me know what you think of this design in the comment section, and subscribe to my channel for more LEGO creations. I've got a whole playlist full of working minifigure scale machines and creations, just like this working LEGO safe, so that playlist will be linked in the description below. And I'd like to also give a big thank you to all of my supporters on Patreon for helping to make my videos possible. And you too can join me on Patreon for even more exclusive bonus videos, behind the scenes looks at what I'm working on, and other LEGO tips and tricks, as well as your name here in the credits of my videos. The link to join me on Patreon will be in the description, and I'd really appreciate your support. I'll see you guys next time with more LEGO creations, and thanks for watching.